بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم إن شاء الله today our lecture regarding responding to symptoms GIT symptoms إن شاء الله we'll discuss uh, diarrhea uh, diarrhea can be defined as an increased frequency of bowel evacuation with the passage of abnormal soft and watery feces the basis of treatment is electrolyte and this is a drug of choice and here our first line treatment electrolyte uh, and fluid replacement electrolyte and fluid replacement in addition uh, in some cases especially in adults uh, and all the children that above 12 years old we can use antidiarrheal uh, agents what you need to know as a community pharmacist to respond well to a patient that complain from uh, diarrhea you should know the age is it infant child adult or elderly I should know also the duration, uh, the duration of uh, symptom and severity of symptoms, and the symptoms uh, that associated with uh, diarrhea, such as nausea, vomiting, fever, uh, abdominal cramp, flatulence. Uh, you should also know the if there are any other family members that affected by uh, diarrhea to exclude or to uh, uh, emphasize or to uh, include if there is a uh, uh, infectious uh, diarrhea because can uh, uh, diarrhea can come from uh, infectious uh, situation either by bacterial or viral infections uh, you should also know the previous uh, history and is there any recent travel aboard uh, the causative factors and uh, you should also ask about the medication and the medicine that already tried to treat this uh, the symptom the area uh, if uh, they are if there any treatment tried or other medicine uh, being taken uh, by the patient that complain from the area we inshallah will come on this on the coming uh, slides in details uh, you should know the age because particular care is needed in a very young and very old patients infants that uh, younger than one year and the elderly patients are especially at the risk of becoming dehydrated so that uh, this will affect your choice to give uh, or to see medication or to repair uh, these patients uh, most of the cases of the area will be acute and self-limiting as uh, and self-limiting uh, especially that arise from viral or bacterial infection uh, because of the of the danger of the dehydration it would be wise to revere infants with diarrhea for longer than two days duration to the doctor this uh, the infants that uh, older than one year but if the infants is less than one year only the duration for one day is uh, uh, is an indication to revere this uh, infant the degree of severity of the area is related to the nature and frequency of stools. Both of these aspects, uh, the nature of the stool and the frequency of the stool, are important since mis mis uh, misunderstandings can arise, especially if uh, in self-diagnosed complaints. So that you should ensure if there are any uh, real diarrhea or uh, misunderstand uh, by or misdiagnosed by the patient uh, that complained from this uh, symptom uh, regarding symptoms uh, acute diarrhea is the rabbit in onset and produces watery stools that are bathed frequently abdominal cramps flatulence and weakness or malaise uh, may also occur Nausea and vomiting may be associated with the area and, may, uh, and sometimes uh, this can be accompanied by fever. The pharmacist should question the patient about food intake and about whether other family uh, members or friends are suffering from the same symptoms since acute diarrhea is often infected in origin. Uh, in uh, in the origin so that uh, maybe the area uh, caught by an infection 
uh, the, uh, the presence of uh, blood or mucus in stools is an indication for repair. The patient complains and assigns that his uh, blood, uh, his stool is bloody or uh, there is a mucus in the stool. You should directly repair this patient. The area with severe vomiting or with a high fever would also require medical advice. You should directly repair this patient if he complains from higher fever. Uh, or even uh, se severe vomiting that which uh, accompanied by the diarrhea. You should know the previous history of the patient uh, because a previous history of diarrhea or a prolonged change in the, in the bowel habit would warrant revealer for further investigation as and it is important that the pharmacist distinguish between acute or chronic uh, conditions in which the chronic conditions that usually for more than three weeks duration may be caused by bowel conditions such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis and uh, uh, IBS and irritable bowel syndrome uh, and all of these three diseases are can be considered as chronic uh, 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 chronic uh, disease uh, the Crohn's uh, disease and ulcerative colitis both of these are uh, chronic inflammatory uh, bowel disorders uh, and uh, this is uh, also beside the IBS which we, we talked in the previous lecture uh, and all of these conditions require medical advice you should better to repair this uh, patient if he, the patient complain or suffer from chronic diarrhea that lasts for more than three weeks you should know uh, by asking the patient is there any recent travel aboard because the area in a patient who has recently traveled aboard requires reveal since it might be infective in origin so that it may need uh, the use of antibiotics and as you know in the pharmacology when you talk about the chemotherapy uh, tetracycline especially doxycycline is a drug of choice for the traveler uh, diarrhea uh, and as we mentioned here, uh, it's not uh, an O2C medication or your decision to give this uh, O2C, uh, to give this uh, antibiotics for a traveler uh, diarrhea. Uh, the causes of diarrhea, the first cause, uh, as we mentioned, the infections, uh, which is uh, in which most cases of diarrhea are short lived. Uh, the bowel habit uh, being normal before and after uh, this uh, infection, uh, duration of infection, uh, the bowel uh, habit become normal. And after the infection, my, uh, after it in, the doctor reserve to its normal uh, bowel habit. In these situations, the cause is likely to be infective, uh, either due to bacterial or viral infection. Uh, regarding a viral infection, viruses are often responsible for for the gastroenteritis uh, in infants, and the virus causing such problem often enters the body via respiratory tract, especially uh, a rotavirus, which is common in infants that caught it by the respiratory tract. And this rotavirus is responsible for a gastroenteritis uh, in uh, the child in infant. Uh, while in the majority of the in the majority of the infection is usually not too severe and it's uh, self-limiting it should be remembered that rotavirus infection can cause this rotavirus infection can cause this although uh, he, some uh, many in, in the most of the cases who are self-limiting lacking can in some situation can lead to this this is most likely in those infants already malnutrition and, lie, uh, and living in board social circumstances who have not been breastfed this is the main cause for this for the infants especially the infants especially the فبتلقى الأطفال دائما هو موتوا نتيجة للروتافيروس اللي هو يعمل لهم ديارية وغاسترونترايتيس وديس في ال ال level أو ال ال percentage بتاع ديس in the in the in these infants are very high. The causes of diarrhea also may be arise from bacterial infection. These are 
food prone infections previously known as food poisoning can be some food poisoning there are several different types of bacteria that can cause such infections uh, including uh, including Campylobacter, Salmonella, Shigella, Staphylococcus, and Escherichia coli. All of these bacterial uh, types can uh, cause uh, diarrhea. This is the uh, features of some infection, infections that causing uh, diarrhea. We have Staphylococcus, Salmonella, Campylobacter, uh, Bacillus, Cereus. There are two types of this bacillus cereus, and this is uh, symptoms either uh, if it's staphylococcus is severe, short lived, especially with vomiting, salmonella mainly cause the area, campylobacter cause the area with the abdominal colic, uh, and bacillus cereus cause the vomiting, bacillus cereus, uh, which uh, durated, uh, which incubated uh, period uh, 8 to 16 hours will result in the area this is our example for some the bacterial species that causes uh, the area bacillary dysentery caused by shigella shigella shiga can occur in outbreaks where, where there are people living in uh, uh, proximity may occur in travelers uh, to africa and asia it's common in africa and asia bacillary dysentery one of the causes, uh, uh, one of the famous uh, traveler uh, diarrhea caused by this uh, microorganism. Also, Escherichia coli infections are less common but uh, can be severe with toxins being re released into the body, which can be, uh, which can cause kidney failure. Antibiotics are generally unnecessary as most food prone infections resolve spontaneously. The most important treatment is adequate fluid replacement. Antibiotics are used uh, for Shigella infections and the more severe Salmonella or Campylobacter ones. Uh, Ciprofloxacin may be used uh, in such uh, circum uh, circum uh, circumstances. Uh, this is also beside the doxycycline also can be used for these uh, infections. Uh, Bortezoan infections also can cause diarrhea and this is uh, very common especially in our country include the lintamibia histolytica causing which result in amoebic dysentery and guardia lambia which cause uh, guardiasis both of these uh, infections uh, both of these uh, bacillus are uh, Bortezoa uh, this ca can result uh, out the infection usually accompanied with diarrhea Diagnosis made by sending uh, this is a diagnosis of this infection should be made by sending stool samples uh, into uh, to the laboratory. Umkin hina in the Sudan fil common practice most of the diarrhea. Uh, this is why explain why uh, the the use of metronidazol to treat the area because they may believe that this uh, may be due to this protozoal infection because metronidazole the flagell is very effective for treatment of guardiasis and intamoeba histolytica also have a, a role uh, in treatment of this infection usually when suffering from the area their first choice they to go to metronidazole or flagell for, for treatment of this area uh, this is an uh, uh, irrational use of uh, drugs. Also, we have a chronic diarrhea which uh, recurrent or persistent diarrhea may be due to an IBS, irritable bowel, or maybe seriously due to a bowel tumor or inflammation of the bowel, uh, as we mentioned in uh, case of ulcerative colitis and the Crohn's disease. An inability to digest or absorb food, malabsorption, or a colic disease, or a diverticular uh, disease of the colon. This is, can result, all of these can result in chronic uh, diarrhea. A diverticular disease, uh, this is a disease result from the a, a, a whole presence of a, this uh, the, the divercula uh, in the wall. Uh, here about an 
بلاجينج انسايد اللارج انتستنج وهذه هي تبقى برضه هي واحده من الكوزز بتاعت الكومن بتاعت الكومن او الكرونيك ديريا You should know the medication. Ask the patient about the medication. The pharmacist should establish the in the identity of any medication that has already been taken to treat the symptoms in order to assess its uh uh appropriateness. Details of any other medication being taken, both OTC or prescribed, are also needed as the diarrhea may be drug induced because diarrhea can arise from drug. Uh, as a drug adverse drug reaction or to say medicine should be considered commonly uh, used uh, medicine such as magnesium containing antacid and ion preparations are examples of medicine that may induce diarrhea laxative abuse should be considered as uh, it's maybe a, a possible cause for this uh, diarrhea Uh, this is an example for some drugs that may cause diarrhea and acid, especially magnesium salts. While we know that aluminium salts can cause constipation, antibiotics, especially broad-spectrum antibiotics, this can uh, result uh, in diarrhea. Well, broad-spectrum antibiotics, as you, as you know, in the, in, uh, from your study in, uh, in, of the microbiology, broad-spectrum antibiotics, because they can affect the normal flora levels, because that it can disturb uh, this uh, normal flora, it can result in uh, uh, antibiotic-associated diarrhea. Antihypertensive drugs, such as guanethidine, or guanethidine, which is one of the symbiosolytic drugs common side effects uh, but rare prescribed هو واحد من الصيد افكت تحت انه يعمل دايرية لكن هو اصلا uh, obsoleted ما بيستخدم as anti-hypertensive due to this uh, side effects also missile dober beta blockers but rarely can cause diarrhea uh, digoxin can cause diarrhea only in uh, toxic levels diuretics alforazimide also can cause diarrhea iron preparation also can cause diarrhea and the laxative can cause diarrhea misoprostol or prostaglandin e analog also can cause diarrhea and any steroid anti-inflammatory drugs and a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor also can cause diarrhea when to repair the patient that complain from diarrhea if the diarrhea of greater than one week's duration in children younger than one year or two days the uh, duration of can two days for children uh, under three years and elderly patients or three days in all the children and adults also you should repair the patient if there is a situation with fear uh, with the vomiting and fever is a can married also uh, complain from uh, vomiting and fever beside the, the diarrhea you should repair him uh, if there is an uh, recent travel abroad also you should uh, repair this patient because it may be diarrhea may arise from infection uh, so may need uh, the use of antibiotics uh, if there is a, a suspected drug induced reaction to prescribe medicine is that kind of diarrhea a diarrhea that you believe may be due to drug uh, induced diarrhea you should uh, repair this patient also if there is a history of a power of a change in the bowel habit and you may suspect uh, chronic uh, or uh, serious uh, disorder you should repair this patient Uh, the presence of blood or mucus in stool also this is one a cause to repair this patient the time scale uh, for the patient that complain from the area one day in a children and otherwise two days this is a main time scale for uh, the patient uh, that suffer from a symptom of the area Now we'll talk about the management and the fairest choice and the fairest line for treatment is the oral rehydration therapy. Who is that available as in the whole in socket? The risk of dehydration from the area is greatest in babies, and rehydration therapy is considered to be the standard treatment for acute diarrhea in babies and young children. 
or a rehydration sockets may be used with antidiarrheal in all the children and adults. Rehydration may still be initiated even if uh, referral to the doctor is advised حتى إذا uh, if you it is better to start the oral rehydration therapy as soon as possible حتى إذا كان المريض انت uh, رأيت انه هو should be revered but it is better to start and revere start the oral rehydration salt and revere the patient to the physician uh, the patient should be reminded that only water should be used to make the solution never fruit or fizzy drinks fruit juice should not be used to reconstitute the oral rehydration salt in the oral rehydration salt the ors should be reconstituted only using water well water is better to be boiled and cooled Water should be used for children younger than one year. Besides, uh, children one than uh, younger than one year, it is better to boil the water and cool it, then use this water to reconstitute the, the oral rehydration salt. The solution can be kept for once in the once you uh, the customer reconstitute the O the ORS, it should be kept. For 24 hours, if it's stored in refrigerator, by the 24 hours, حتى even إذا هو ما استخدمه كله, you should be discharged and reconstitute a new socket. Homemade salts and sugar solution should not be recommended since the accuracy, uh, the accuracy of the electrolyte content cannot be guaranteed. يعني ما بنضمن الدقه بتاعت الكونسنتريشن بتاعت الالكترولايت عشان كده ما بنصح اننا تو ميد ذيس او ار اس ات هوم اند ذيس اكشولي سي از اسينشال سبيشالي ان انفانس اند يونج تشيلدرينج اند ايلدرلي بيشن بس ان كيس اوف اللي هو الادلت يعني ممكن يو كان ميد ات هوم فور ادلت بيكوز الالكترولايت الاكشرسي بتاعت الالكترولايت بالانس يعني ما يعني ما ما ضروريه او ما مهمه شديد زي ما في في الانفانت والتشيلدرينج والالدر ليبيشن سبيشال ميجرينج سبونز ار افيلابل زي كوريكت Use would be uh, would produce a more acceptable solution, but their use should be reserved for the treatment of adults, as I mentioned, where electrolyte concentration is less crucial. يعني ما يعني نعتبره ما أساسي شديد زي ما في ال في الإنفانت واليانت الدرينج والإدرلي بيشنس. الاذر ثيرابي فور المانجمنت تحت الدياريه وي هاف اللوبرامايد اللوبرامايد او الموديوم براند نيم از ان افكتيف اند ديل تريتمنت فور يوز ان اول ذا تشيلدرين اون ادلتس نوت بي ريكومندد فور ذا يوز ان تشيلدرين اندر 12 ييرز ما بنستخدم الاطفال اقل من 12 سنه وان ريكومندينج لوبرامايد ذا فارماسيست شود ريمايند بيشنتس تو درينك بلنتي اوف اكسترا فلويدز Lobramide has typically been considered to have relatively low risk for misuse because there is no reports of lobramide abuse. Lohua mafia reports that lobramide abuse. The lohua lobramide, or actually lohua, in the diphenoxylate with atropine, we know that it has reported misuse have been established or made for this for that drug. This is a divinoxylate for atropine, which is a brand name Lomotil. Divinoxylate is, of course, a centrally active opioid, and of course, Lobramide is a synthetic, but mainly it works peripherally. The divinoxylate is used in combination with atropine for treatment of diarrhea, which is Imodium. ال سوري اللوموتيل الموديوم ده اللي هو اللوبرامايد. We have a practical points should be considered for a patient or a customer that complain or suffer from diarrhea. Breast or bottle feeding should be continued in infants. If the infants end up diarrhea, you should continue, not the mother to stop 
or associate the breastfeeding or the bottle feeding should be continued even with the, the diarrhea. Patients with diarrhea should be advised to drink plenty of clear non-milk fluids including water and uh, juice. They should avoid caffeine and alcohol. Uh, also, this patient should avoid certain foods such as dairy products, fatty foods, high fiber foods, or highly seasoned food. Highly seasoned foods means the spicy or the good alley mutabal, the alakal mutabal shadid, who should be avoided for a few days. Uh, you can add semi solids and uh, low fiber foods gradually, trying to be the fatal hard food. Uh, you can add semi solid and low fiber foods gradually as your power uh, as uh, the bowel of the patient uh, customer patient or complaint patient uh, the bowel movement return to the normal patient with diarrhea might be best advised to avoid cow milks because during diarrhea the enzyme in the gut that digest milk اللي هو اللاكتيز is inactivated during the area بيحصل inactivation للاكتيز فده ممكن يعمل لي temporary this can result in temporary lactose intolerance and can be uh, this can be produced which makes the area worse because the lactose intolerance also can cause uh, diarrhea so it is better to avoid cow milks لأنه هو rich في اللاكتوز ف during اللي هو uh, symptoms بتاعت الدياري now we have a case we have uh, mrs uh, robinson asks what you can recommend for her for what can you what can you recommend for the area her son david who are aged 11 has the area and she she is worried that her another or had other two ch children Natalie uh, age over four years and Tom over uh, over one year. Me also get it. خايفة إنه الأطفال التانيين برضو كان got دياريا as uh, ولد اللي هو ديفيد اللي 11 سنة عنده زاد سفر from دياريا. Uh, he mentioned she mentioned that uh, David's diarrhea started yesterday. Uh, he went to the toilet about five times and was sick. واضح إنه five times معنى دياريا increase في frequency. Was sick uh, once, but uh, has not seen uh, sick uh, since. Since uh, he has gripping pains and uh, cramping abdominal pain, but uh, it is generally well and quiet, li uh, and quite lively. Yesterday, he had buy uh, an uh, chips uh, from the local takeaway during his lunch break at school. No one else in the family ate the same food. Mrs. Robinson has, but after you asked her, she declared that no one uh, else in the family ate the same food. Mrs. Robinson has not given him any medicine, but has robramide at home and wants to know if David could take some عندها الابرامايد موجود في البيت وذاتس هو انا اسك يو برضو اذا كان هي ممكن تدي منه او لا ذا كويشن از ذات وات از يور ريكومنديشن طيب ان ذيس كيس ات ساوند از اف ديفيد هاز اباوت اكيوت ديريا بوسيبلي ديو تو ذا فود هي ايت يسترداي ديورينج لانش تايم واضح ان هو عنده ديارية ذات ريزولف فروم ذا فود انتيك كان يوز هايلايتر ات سيمز ذات از ديفيد هاز ديارية ذات ريزولف فروم هي تيك ابن هي at the local takeaway during the lunch time. What in Hoda? This is the cause of uh, the area. Uh, he, uh, this uh, David, it is better to recommend oral rehydration salt for uh, this child, the whole 11 age. 
the oral rehydration salt sockets is a very slim choice for the treatment of uh, this uh, diarrhea and you should uh, ask uh, his mother to give uh, him for uh, a day if the, uh, if the, if the, uh, the area resolved it's, uh, okay if not resolved continue for more than uh, two days now uh, you should uh, ask her to uh, or refer her to her uh, physician Yeah, it is better also practically it is better uh, to advise uh, Mrs. Robinson and counsel her on how she can uh, reconstitute the or the whole ORS uh, circuits uh, it seems that uh, her two children Allahumma till now Allahumma uh, Natalia and Tom whom free of the uh, mind of the area like in she afraid that they can get this uh, diarrhea uh, if either the can one of them or both they have uh, they get diarrhea because uh, can diarrhea um, maybe it can be if, if, if the, the reason is infectious they can get diarrhea if either one of them or both of them get diarrhea they also you should say should give an ORS both of them should give an or either should give an uh, ORS for a day uh, and then you can recommend uh, them uh, who take this ORS for uh, one day is uh, the problem if the problem resolved it's okay if not resolved they can also revert can be revert to the physician uh, if the diarrhea that persists for more than these two days uh, I think that is all about this uh, case we have another case Mrs. Uh, Chaudhry uh, is collecting her regular repeat prescription for antihypertensive treatment yeah, she came to the community, your community pharmacy, and uh, she want to take her regular antihypertensive treatment. You ask her, uh, you ask how she and the family are. Uh, she tells you that several members of the family have been suffering with diarrhea on and off. Here, Taman that can by chance, but when Salta, how her family, he, she declared that some of the family, Lahua, uh, in the home, the area, on and off, the area. You know that the family recently turned from a trip to India where they had been in, uh, visiting relatives to attend uh, a family wedding. Uh, in answer to your questions, Mrs. Chaudhary tells you that the problem with the diarrhea started after they uh, after they returned from uh, India what's your uh, recommendation here it is clearly uh, as it uh, infectious uh, diarrhea or uh, the diarrhea that result from uh, infections who are not mean their recent travel recent travel is in here travel uh, uh, the area that uh, resulted from uh, recently travel فدي واضح ان هي واضح ان هي حتكون infectious لان many of the uh, several members of the family have been اللي uh, هم suffer from this uh, the area so the your recommendation here uh, referral to the their general practitioner GB is needed here as the diarrhea may be related to the recent travel and so that they may need antibiotic treatment uh, if not the diarrhea settled uh, or self-limited uh, that is all uh, thank you uh, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh